Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel where I make quality content that no one really asked for. In today's video, it is my last Morax Ladybug Culture Fly unboxing. I know, I am really sad, but if you don't know by now, it's been a few months, but they did announce to Culture Fly, the company that makes all the monthly subscription mystery Morax Ladybug boxes, sadly said they won't make the Morax Ladybug boxes anymore. Um, the one from... 2022, the winter box was the last one, which was the Hawk Moth box, but I do have a video here on my channel. That was the last box, but I managed to grab one of the previous boxes from a past launch, and I thought just to say goodbye to Culture Fly, I thought I'd open up the last box that I have right here. I do not own all the boxes. I think I'm missing three, but it's okay. And it is really sad because I really did like the culture fly boxes. I love the mystery element. I love the things and it's so sad that it's discontinued. But you know, some good things had to come to an end and things have to change. Like for example, my lighting here changed. Um, my last couple of videos, the quality and the lighting has been pretty bad just because I have two ring lights. I have my colorful one and then I have the not colorful one. One of them died and so <laughs> It messed up my whole lighting. I managed to use another light today and hopefully the quality and the lighting is better. We'll find out. But just like Culture Fly, things are changing. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to unbox the Miraculous Ladybug Fall 2021 box. And we're just going to experience this together. The last box I'll probably unbox on this channel that involves Miraculous Ladybug Culture Fly. So story behind this box and how I got it. Um, so I went to a toy show. I went to the Washington State toy show a few months ago and this box caught me in a moment of weakness. I would have not purchased it if I knew what it was. It was being honest because as I started collecting the Rex Laybug Culture Fly boxes when the Lady Noir theme box came out. Uh, that one was the spring of 2022 that was my first box I have got and from then I've been collecting the boxes and um, since I missed out on previous boxes I've been going on eBay and Macari to collect all the items that I wanted so when I saw this box at a toy show I asked him what it was and she's like oh it's a mystery box and I think she didn't understand my questions I asked her um, like what's in the box, like I'll make sure that it was not a culture fly box or something that I already had because I don't want doubles, but she didn't answer my question, so I was really confused. And then the stuff that she answered confused my question, so it was a confusing time. And I didn't know that this was the fall Marks Lady Bug 2021 box until I looked it up on the internet after I spent a stupid amount of money on it. I spent around like 50 bucks on this box. Which is not that bad because when I buy a normal culture fly box, they're like $35, but I don't know. If I knew they was the fall one, I wouldn't have not bought it. Just because I already own a lot of the fall items, but hey, I can't complain. I get to have some doubles, I can sell the doubles, but at least I have the box. Because these boxes are really fun to display, but yeah, I got caught in a moment of weakness. Bought something and I didn't want to buy, but I bought it anyways. For a price that I didn't want to pay. It's just, it was a time, but I'm just going to unbox it on this channel and I guess complete more of my Culture Fly collection. So let's just open up the box here. So I said this came out in 2021. And I bought this in 2022 in November, right before the Hawk Moth box came out. So here what it is. Super cool. I said, I kind of really know what's inside because it already has some of the items, but oh well. So the first thing we get is this card, um, and it's a postcard that shows all the items. I said, I already kind of have half these items already, just because I already bought them, and you're going to see them in my next video after this, which is my Rex Ladybug haul, but it's still fun to open up this box and still have the experience on camera. So the first thing that I see in this box is this miraculous Ladybug poster. It's a season four poster. Yeah, and it's supposed to, I'm not going to open up right now, but it's supposed to look like this, the typical promo for the fourth season, because, you know, when this box came out, it was promoting the fourth season, um, how things were different when the fourth season came out, because now the fifth season's out, and it's crazy, but this is supposed to look like right here, 
and don't mind my nails are ugly. So we have a poster, and I definitely will. I do not have this, so I'll probably hang this up somewhere. Probably put it on my door or my closet doors. Um, and it's one thing that sucks that it's folded. They should have rolled it. So now I'm gonna have creases in this photo, but oh well, you win some, you lose some. And then you have this little pamphlet that shows all the boxes. And sadly, I said you can't get the Merch City Bug one anymore. Sorry, if this video is kind of a downer. It's just, I just really miss the Merch City Bug Culture Fly boxes. The next thing I see here is this Cat Noir Temporary Tattoo, which I would not be using. I'll keep it in this package. And it's kind of one of those, like, you put it on your arm, you wet it, and you peel it, and it's there. It is really cool. Um, I'm not going to use it because I don't like tattoos, but... It would be a cool display piece since it's a green paw. It kind of go with both my favorite superheroes, Cat Noir and Beast Boy, because Beast Boy tends to use green paw marks as well. So this is cool. We'll put this somewhere, probably with my Mark Slayba Culture Fly shelf, which I do have, which you will see in my Mark Slayba collection, which should be on this channel as well soon. And this thing I'm really excited to have, and I probably won't use it because I'll probably put it on display, as I said before. But this is one thing I was actually excited to have in this box because I don't have it, and I think it's really cool, and I did want it. So now I don't have to worry about purchasing it on the secondhand market like I did with all the other items. So we have this um, earbuds, like wired earbuds, and it has like the base of the earbud. It looks like the base of a Miraculous Ladybug. Uh, miraculous box super cool and then the earbuds itself is ladybug symbol and I do like this in this packaging it'd be fun to display and yeah there's where are earbuds and they're just really cool you know I don't ever use airpods now I still use earbuds <laughs> and oh uh, yeah so it's really cute I really love this and sometimes when it's super cool opening up previous uh, culture fly boxes they hit different because I feel like their qualities are different but one thing I'm glad to have another in my collection especially in good condition is this hawk mop figure the famous derpy hawk mop figure with the weird eyes oh I should say shadow mop sorry he always changed his name I stuck on calling him hawk mop um because now he's like monarch and all that okay pick a name but yeah I already have one of these figures for a look for my next video, which is gonna come out with this, which is a Mark Slaybug haul, but I do own him already. Um, so, but mine actually has a broken hand, so I'm glad to have this one in perfect condition, so I might take it out of the box and display him. Don't know quite yet, but I don't mind having another one of him, just because it's great, and the box is great, and it's really cool. And the last collectible here, because I said these older boxes were so good, is something I already have, and I won't be taking it out of the box because I don't need to, because I already have one out of the box. Um, and I can just put a clip here afterward, but it looks like, or watch my next video, which is the haul. I did also purchase this. I purchased this, a Hawk Moth, a Ran Ran figure, and a Tiki fan, and a lot. Uh, but, and I think that's on my Instagram, on a reel. But this is really cool because you have a piggy bank or a coin bank and it's basically ladybug's miraculous box which she had all the kwamis because she's the guardian and it's really cool this piece is actually cool if you don't have this but you have it found it on the second hand market i do recommend it's a really cool collector piece i do own mine already and it's displayed on my shelves <coughs> but it's really cool and it's not that big uh I'd probably say it's probably like six inches like wide like five inches tall it's not the biggest thing but it's great to a display piece and it doesn't take much room so those are the collectibles you get in this box oh wait, nope i forgot one other thing something i, I also already own was is this cat noir lanyard uh, i think i mentioned that i had this in my thermax lady but column was the second one but i do have this lanyard already. I use it as my work lanyard so that way if I call me Cat Noir or Ladybug at work because of my lanyard. But it's good to have another one because I did want to get another one as a collection piece because the one I have it's something I use every day. So it's beat up like the plaque actually fell off so I'm really good to have one 
this to keep pristine in my collection. So it wasn't a total loss. Like this box, I'm not angry that I have a lot of duplicates because I have one, two, three. I have three duplicates here because I have the Hawk Maw already, the piggy bank, and the lanyard. But I don't mind having a duplicate of the piggy bank. Ink, I mean, of the Hawk Moth and the lanyard. I might sell this one day. So we'll see. And the last thing in this box, which one thing I do really like about Culture Fly boxes, is the t shirt you get. And I got it in a large. Usually I get a medium, but all the medium boxes were beat up from the vendor that was selling them. And I'm actually super excited about this shirt because it's a long sleeve, which is great. Um, I wear long sleeve shirts because it's cold, um, because it is winter. Even in spring, it's cold. Here in Washington, it doesn't get warmer until like August and it gets like super hot and you're like sweating your tits off. But yeah, so on the front, it is like a normal long black, t uh, long sleeve t-shirt. has the Rock Slate Black logo in the front. One thing I do like in the back is you have Cat Noir and Ladybug and this really cool artwork in the back and I can say it's pretty miraculous and I really do love the Culture Fly t-shirts. I said I own um, the Aqua Bug, the Lady Noir one, um, this one which is the last one you'll ever get. This is the Hawk from the Silencer hoodie from the last box and now I have this Shirt, which is super cool and I'm glad to own it and so I don't mind getting in a size large because t-shirts will shrink over time and I'm gonna just toss that over there and yeah um, so here look at the box one more time so here's the inside it says be miraculous and then um, if you look at the box here um, it does have a lot of symbols around it that's on the miraculous boxes like the miracle boxes and let's go through the things you can get one more time as a last reminder because you can't get Rex Leva Culture Fly anymore. Tears. So again, you get this really cool coin bank. I said the older boxes are so cool. You get this really cool coin bank as the Rex Bug, Ladybug, like her little box that she has, the miracle box, which is really cool. And I know it's not that big, it looks really big on camera. It's probably the size of my face, um, but it's still a cool display piece. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my extra one. I might sell it, but who knows. might keep it because I'm crazy. And then I do have this hawk moth figure. That I don't know what to do with him either. I'll probably take him out of the box and I have two because I'm crazy that way. So yeah, we have this really cool shadow moth and I just really like the box. And mine's actually in good condition. Because the one I have is actually has hands fail off, so that's fun. And then, of course, you get a pamphlet that I won't look at because, you know. <laughs> and then you get the card that displays everything. And I like sticking these places because they're cool. And then, we, of course, we have the lanyard, the Cat Noir lanyard, which is really awesome. Glad to have one in pristine condition because I said I do own one. It's my work lanyard but it's really beat up. So I'm glad to have one as a collector piece versus an everyday attire piece. My favorite thing in this box is because I don't own it which is the Marks Ladybug earbuds. And I'm like I think I like it because of the packaging. Like they'd be really cool to display. We have this temporary tattoo. I wish it was a sticker to be honest but still fine. Still on a cool display piece, and I do appreciate. I know when Coffee Fly did these boxes, they do package everything in theme so you can just display it just as it is if you don't use it. And we have a poster which I will take out and display it somewhere where I don't know yet. But other than that, that's everything in this box. And so I just was really sad they don't make the Marax Ladybug Culture Fly boxes anymore. But hey, what can you do? You win some, you lose some. But I'm still glad I have this box, even if I got caught in the moment of weakness and confusion. I said if I knew this was the 2021 box, 
Would I hype on it? I probably still would, to be honest, because I said the boxes themselves is a cool collector piece, and I said the things inside are just a bonus, so yes, I might have some doubles, but other than that, I'm still pretty overall happy with this box, and the Culture Fly moment with Morak Saiba was such a good time, and it's just unfortunate that it ended, and we won't get any more of those on my channel unless I buy another previous box, because the ones I'm missing is the first box, the... Shanghai box and the winter box but other than that that's all for today's video I hope you didn't find it boring or cringy I hope you enjoy my new like light situation um the next video I think I know what it is it should be a Morax Ladybug haul or is my Morax Ladybug collection just depends how I feel but hopefully those will be <laughs> the next videos and yeah, that's all for today, and I guess I'll see you in my next one. Um, bug out!